Today we're going to explore the old switchboard PVP server. This was my home for a long time. Around November of last year, 2017, the server was closed down. I was told that the server was actually almost six years old. I don't know if it's really that old, but I do know that it was a very well populated server, had a very strong user base, always people on, it was almost like IRC. And there are many old ruins, which was fun to explore. But for a number of reasons, the server was shut down. And as of April 2018, it is, appears to be dead forever. Apparently the files exist somewhere, so maybe someday it'll find a new home. But for now, most of us have moved on. In fact, the administrator at the end, Plebs, has created a new switchboard spawn inside of another server on mine test servers at around 4000x and 1000z blocks from 00. It can be easily accessed from the true spawn of the server and many of the buildings have been recreated but it'll never be our true switchboard home. So today we'll explore that. Also you might notice the video appears to be running extremely slow. That's because this video I found, this old archive I made last October that I forgot about and then recently stumbled across, I actually recorded it within a, I believe I recorded it from within mine test. Or I did it on Ubuntu, I can't remember, but either way I had the settings set to 5 FPS. Yes, that's slow. So it appears very chunky. Not much I can do about it. But for the the people who care about that server, maybe it'll just be fun to watch. Uh, so here I am in my main building, or base if you want to call it, at Spawn. In every mind test server I go on, I build one of these buildings, so you probably you may have stumbled across these before. I guess I'm here I'm getting ready to go explore, showing my setup. Now I hadn't actually used switchboard for a few months when I made this recording. I made this recording specifically when I heard the server would be and it was in imminent shutdown mode. And actually I think I recorded this literally a few days before it became official that the shutdown was going to happen. And I can't remember if it shut down in November or if it wasn't until December. But this is pretty much the last time I was ever on the server. If you go on my test forums you will see a few snapshots of the server after the date of my recording that show uh, some, I guess you could say celebration of a shutdown. It was actually kind of nice that there, were, that there was a warning that there was going to be a shutdown, which most internet services, they just disappear. So they actually did have a bit of a celebration on the outgoing, so. But, oh, speed apples that I'm collecting right here. I miss those a lot. I love those speed apples. Now on the my test server, it does have horses and working boats, which are pretty good. But those apples are the best. And I believe those were must have been a custom mod because I cannot find that add-on anywhere. Well, let's go here. I guess we're going to go to my base near... This was actually my original... I called it my office. Well, I'm showing all my different places I have. And I had separated kind of an amateur, it's not like there's not like there's really security on this on these systems, but I had different help teleport networks to keep people from going places I didn't want them to within my group of buildings. So here I'm looking out of a balcony. This was actually an old building that was abandoned, but surprisingly there wasn't a lot of vandalism on switchboard. This building was had been used for a long time so and they had rather small protection blocks which I used to think were annoying but now that I think about it it's kind of nice to have small protection blocks because you can sneak them into cities where with the big uh, protection blocks a lot of people use you can't if you have unused areas nobody can ever protect it so I was able to sneak in a protection block somewhere in this building reprotect it and then I rebuilt it and uh, I believe that's actually yeah has whoever owned the building before still had a few things left that I couldn't delete but all his protection blocks had been taken out and I put in some chairs and a fireplace. The fireplace is actually to cover up some 
uh, chests that I can't access. There's my library. And this I consider this to be kind of my business office. Sometimes I would be annoying. Uh, this was this is actually only about a hundred meters from spawn as well. So sometimes I would sit up there with arrows and then just shoot people as they walked by. <laughs> so and here we go. So this is the first server where I tried to create a world teleport. Oh, there's a shot of that restored building. And I put a little courtyard in. This is pretty beat up because there's not so much vandalism out here, but people just come out here to dig blocks because they don't want to go way out into the middle of nowhere. Especially, I suppose, new players that haven't established their own private teleport network yet. So here let's go to the actual to the actual spawn. And you'll see some of these have been uh, animals have been rebuilt on the new switchboard spawn on my test servers. Definitely this center point. So here we are at spawn with so many creative things. There's a uh, South American building there, a world map. That was actually a rather recent addition. I think they come, came in the summer of 2017. It showed it, the locations of different users of the server, kind of like a fallout shelter there, which, which was pretty neat. And now I'm going to go up this hill. Up here I built a masjid next to the church. Nobody seemed to complain. There's actually quite a few unprotected areas near spawn, which I don't think they were always unprotected, but I think they had a good policy on the server. If a building was abandoned, they would delete the protection. So I was able to carve out enough protection to build a good building. So that was Switchboard's large masjid. Let's go inside of it here. Should probably build another one of these. There's the women's section. The library, some books in it. Just enough area unprotected to fit that sucker in there. I remember that. I had to fill it, feel it out block by block to get the maximum area. Here's the or, uh, old church built by somebody else, and this is kind of a, a church yard here. Go over and you can see the Mayan ruins again. There's a lighthouse. A lot of stuff at Spawn was actually built quite recently. It changed all the time. So I believe it was a very creative server. Spawn was a fun place to be. We got these name colors working too right at the end. The server was actually working quite well. A bunch of problems were fixed and then for whatever reason it was shut down. Which is too bad. Okay, so um, I Pubs actually gave me my uh, box right in the main entrance here, the travel network. Which looks a lot like the old travel network. It's the old spawn of my test servers. My test servers has a beautiful new spawn. I assume built by a number of people who had to leave Switchboard. It has an ex actually probably the nicest spawn you'll ever find in Mind Test or Minecraft. It's really well done. Almost too nice. It's like Disneyland. <laughs> Now we can go to 
zero, I called it. Yep, there it is. This was completely in ruins when I started cleaning this area up. And I always like to clean up to the zero zero of a map. But, uh, and spawn was only like 200 meters off zero zero, which is kind of odd. And then here is the, I cleaned out this whole room, made it kind of an epic cube. And there is the, oh, my own private little maintenance area for zero zero stuff. Zero zero center of the universe, yep. Uh, this is my private teleport network. And then out the front is the public network for the access to the center hub but zero zero negative five hundred and there we go and i actually made a little museum memorial to switchboard at on my test servers at zero zero negative five hundred so should you go visit that i forgot i built so many uh, boxes currently as of April 2018, I just have a handful of teleports laid out on that map. There's north. Number of special access points. Oh, there's a maintenance room for the World Teleport Hub. I think I stopped using double doors. I did that originally way back when I first started mind tests because there are some bugs in mind tests that allow people to get into areas. But now I get I, I just don't really care if people go in. But there was a trick you could you could build a building so it was entrance bug proof by using thick walls and multiple doors. But a trick where if you had lag set up, you could basically get through a wall before the server caught up to you. But my test server has really good uh, protection. It'll actually jump you back to the last block you were at if you violate a protection block. So now we're going somewhere. Uh, some lag. It was a very busy server. There'd be easily 20 people on there, 30 people on there at any one time. That's why people missed it so much. I think a lot of people probably quit my test when it went down. But my test server is all pretty much identical. Oh, here's my farm out in the country. That was an experiment I tried. It didn't work too well. And I believe updates to mine test made it not work as well, but originally you could get plants to grow really fast by putting lamps on them because it would grow day and night. But apparently it does not, does not work as well anymore. And then that bamboo, that was annoying bamboo. I like the bamboo that they use on the mine test servers. You know, this, mine test servers is, behaves a lot more like Minecraft, which I know the hardcore mine test people will hate, but hope it's my farm. Remote farm established July 2017. There's actually some more farms around here. So this area way out here was just farms. There was no villages out here. But up on the hills behind this farm, there are some more farms. But I never actually ran into anybody out here. Oh, this is my new farm. I never really got a chance to harvest this farm because the server went down. You can see it's much more massive. If you want to see a big farm, I also have a farm on the hometown server, which is the, just the most massive farm. Which actually, I gotta replenish my store. Actually, people have been buying stuff there. I think I abandoned it. I haven't been on there for a month. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'll start posting whenever I have stores. I think I'm gonna start posting the last time I replenish the store, so people get a clue. That's one thing I don't like about this. Is, when people don't put dates of what they're doing, you don't know if the building is two years old or if people are still using it. So there's my teleport. Yeah, everything on here is like kind of hack bug proof, but I don't do that anymore. 
I really don't care. Just a game. After losing everything on Mind Test or on uh, Switchboard, it's kind of like not even too worked up about it. From here, we're going to go towards Spawn. I believe this is coming from the southwest, heading northeast to, to Spawn. Again, sorry for the low frame rate. I hadn't watched this video since I created it six months ago, so it's a little too late to redo now. Uh, looks like I'm stuck. Somebody borrowed a block from that building. Somebody's home. There's some cool Chinese buildings there. This server had a lot of stuff on it. I still had. I still probably only explored 10% of this map. They're up on the northern frontiers and stuff, which I don't believe, I believe this video cut off so you won't see it, but on the frontiers there were whole cities big, as big as Spawn. And they were active, they weren't like dead, that's the thing about this server. There were, besides, you can see right now there's probably 15, 20 people uh, at Spawn, but there might be another 10 people out on some remote city. So it was very much like real life. It's pretty cool. I do like having the names appear no matter how far away they are. Oh, there you get a close-up outside view of my tower. You'll see these towers on other servers. It's me if you find them. It's kind of a, supposed to be a futuristic design. I don't get too much into making realistic buildings because it's just a game. I so that was kind of a evolved building. I do have some regular houses I built on this map. Again, I don't know if we'll see them or not. Probably not. I think this is just going to be mostly a tour of spawn, unfortunately. So, I just barely fit this in here. I tried to find the closest unprotected area by spawn and this was it. We can work our way over to my other view from the should, should be the northern side of town, and uh, most of the busy stuff was busy stuff was going on on the south side of town. Here's my office again, where we started the video at or near. And we'll teleport the hub. I still have one building, that, one building I have to recreate on my test server. I believe I've recreated all my buildings on the hometown server. see where I go here. See if I decide to keep the rest of this video or not. Or am I just gonna wander around like a crazy person? Oh. Okay, we'll keep watching. I'll just black that part out. <laughs> okay, yes, it's not the end of the video. If you stayed. So here was a what I call a satellite teleport. So there's every 2500 blocks there's a primary teleport, and then from each teleport, there's a little sub teleport area where you can go to points of interest nearby. And I think I believe I called this village London. This was, I don't think I ever did build a house here. I did put a big sign up on the wall, which no one ever seemed to complain about. Let's see if it appears here soon. It should. So it loads the chunks. There it is. So I cleaned up this wall face, made it all nice, and put my uh, YouTube logo on there. Which is actually an ancient logo, 
for the record, that's actually a logo from the old BBS days in the 1990s, like 1992, 93. So. There it is. All right, goodbye.